welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to create the booking model in our application so after selecting the dates i'll select the dates when you click on the book now button you are going to see this pay now button so after clicking on the pay now button we have to get the stripe pop up so after entering the details in the stripe you have to uh, book the room so we are going to learn about the stripe in the last section because it is not a mandatory thing here so you have to understand the date range filtering in this course main the main my main concept is date range filtering so that's the reason of course we are going to implement the stripe but we are we are continuously learning about this date range so if i implement stripe in this lecture so you may you may forget all these date range topics so that's the reason first i will implement all date range topics and at the last we are going to implement stripe so compared to this date range filtering stripe is very easy concept so that's the reason i kept it last so when you click on this pay now button directly it is going to book with these dates so let's see so here you have to update one more thing so rent per day is equal to 1500 that means total amount is equal to 1500 into 3 so i am going to calculate it in the previous lecture we forgot that uh with this with this is booking screen so i am going to create one const total amount equal to total days into where it is into 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 yeah into room dot rent per day that's it and here i am going to use it total amount is equal to total amount that's it here you can see i got 4500 now let's go to the back end and create the booking model so already we have models folder i am going to create booking dot js so first of all import the mongoose mongoose require mongoose and i am going to write const booking schema booking schema is equal to new sorry mongoose dot schema yeah so first i am going to write room which room you are booking room type is equal to string required is equal to true and the second one is room id so we have to add the room id in the bookings so it is also type string actually the id is in the form of object so you can use the mongodb object or you can use the direct string both are uh, true only and uh, room room id user id so you have to store the user id in the room booking same type is equal to string required is equal to true and uh, from date and to date from date same it is also type string required true because we are using the alternate format from the moment that's the reason i have specified time is equal to uh, from date type is equal to string otherwise you have to specify date from date to date type is equal to string and required is equal to true and total amount to total days total amount so here i am not using any capital letters I completely i am using small letters only because in the front end also we have given the same things so total amount is equal to type is equal to number required true and the last one is uh total days total days is equal to same type is equal to number required is equal to true and if you are implementing stripe so we are going to store the transaction id so that's the reason i am going to use transaction id so it is must be a string type string required true and the last one is status so the user can book and the user can also uh, cancel the room that's the reason we have to include status object status same type is equal to string required is equal to true and here we are having one more object so that is called as the 
uh, default so by default whenever the room is booked the status will be booked that's that's it and i am going to add the timestamps timestamps so if you want to include any other properties that's up to you you can include timestamps true control s but these are the necessary things yeah now i am going to create the model const model is equal to mongoose dot model the first one is bookings collection name and the second one is booking schema booking schema and i am going to write module dot exports module dot exports is equal to sorry here you have to write booking model module dot exports is equal to booking model control s so now i will import these in the uh, bookings route so as of now we haven't created it bookings route r is capital bookings route dot js so in the next lecture we are going to write the back end code for booking a room and we are going to store the details in the database thank you